Hi, welcome back to the Amoretti Test Kitchen. Here I have some red velvet and I have some cream cheese and some white chocolate cream and some decorations and of course the red velvet artisan. So we are going to make a red velvet trifle. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so I have all the components. Cookie cutter, a couple of glasses, some cream cheese that I've whipped up. This is white chocolate cream, which I made a day ahead. This is just white chocolate and cream and a vanilla bean scraped in and then adding some gelatin. Melt the chocolate with some hot cream and mix it together with the gelatin and then let it sit overnight. Then you whip it and this is what you have. So I've colored a couple of bags of the white chocolate cream so that we can have some different colors. All right, so let's build the trifle. So I'm gonna cut some cake. This is a little bit thick, but I'm going to use it. Let's see how it fits in the glass. I think we'll be okay. Now, if your cake has been cut and maybe it's been in the freezer for a while or the refrigerator, you can soak it with some simple syrup. This will make it nice and soft and moist. All right, so this is the cream cheese. So we're gonna have a layer of cream cheese. And I'm going to cut another layer of cake. And push that down. Depends on the type of glass you're using and the size of glass, but of course the size of a cookie cutter. So I'm just gonna to top it with the white chocolate cream. We're going to have a small layer of the cream on top. All right. And then we have different colors. So you can see the vanilla bean in here, which is beautiful. I like that a lot. I like seeing the vanilla bean in here. So now I'm just alternating. All right, this is the red velvet cake that I've dried out. You put it in the oven, you crumble it up, and you have some nice garnish. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on top because it makes it really pretty. And I have a few other decorations here. A little bit of garnish, some crunchies, and some pearls that always make it look really pretty. And I made some white chocolate garnish using some transfer sheets. It's very simple. You want to temper your chocolate, spread it over the transfer sheet, and then you end up with something like this. So you can use that as a nice garnish. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun decorating these trifles. Be sure to use the Red Velvet Artisan. It really adds a nice punch to your Red Velvet cake. You can add any decorations you want with your white chocolate. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You know we love to hear your comments. Subscribe to our channel and our newsletter. We want to keep you updated on our discounts, our promos, our recipes, and our giveaways. See you next time.